Esta es la pelea especial de la noche. Peso super, league, super pluma, 10 asaltos. Ladies and gentlemen, this is our special event of the evening. Super featherweights, 10 rounds. Los jueces, the judges, Hall of Famers, Marty Dinkin, Lou Filippo, Dick Young. En la esquina roja con pantalón amarillo y rojo, con 20 victorias, 7 perdidas, 11 de sus victorias por knockout. In the red corner, with a professional record of 20 wins, 7 losses, 11 wins by knockout, pesando 130 libras, at 130 pounds, de Buenos Aires, Argentina, Gustavo, Demolición, Cuello. En la esquina azul, con pantalón negro y blanco, invicto en 15 peleas profesionales, con 13 de sus victorias por knockout. In the blue corner, he's undefeated in 15 professional bouts, 13 of his wins by knockout, pesando 130 libras, at 130 pounds, Grand Rapids, Michigan, fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada, bronze medalist, 96 Olympic Games, pretty boy Floyd, Mayweather and our referee in charge, John Shorty. Hey guys, I expect a good clean fight out of both of you. Obey my commands at all times and protect yourselves at all times. Touch close. Referee giving last minute instructions for the super featherweight bout. Chance to look at one of the up and comers in boxing. Floyd Mayweather, the Olympic gold medalist in 1996 in the black trunks. has been reunited with his father, Floyd Sr., who is his trainer tonight. Floyd Sr. once fought Sugar Ray Leonard. Gustavo Coelho's in the gold trunks. Now we come for round one tonight at the Grand Olympic. Coelho from Argentina. Mayweather hails from Grand Rapids, Michigan, fighting out of Las Vegas. Coelho trying to press the action early. Mayweather was called by Bob Arum the best boxer at the Olympics. Calls him a combination of Sugar Ray Leonard and Oscar De La Hoya. The young man just 21 years old trying to move up in the world of boxing. He's had 15 professional fights, 13 knockouts. Quayle throwing wildly over his head there. He knows that he's got his hands full tonight with this young man. Mayweather slapping some rights to the head of the Kaleo. Mayweather, slapping some rights to the head of the Mayweather first American to knock out a Cuban fighter in Mayweather 20 years American at the Olympics. So he's got that on his list of credentials. A lot of pressure on Mayweather. Comes from a boxing family of good pedigree. His uncle Roger is a former champion. Mayweather just picking his spots early, tried to, with a lunging right. Leo didn't know what to do with that. Mayweather has shown power in his career. Well, trying to get busy on the inside excites the crowd a little bit. Mayweather, that long reach, should be able to keep him off. As a right hand, he snuck in. Another slapping left. You can feel the punches ringside. Mayweather has power. There's a left jab. Finding its mark. There's Combination. Finding its mark. Combination. Gustavo Cuello, 27 years old next week, out of Argentina. As round one is coming to an end here in Los Angeles. 
Pretty boy Floyd Mayweather. Here we go, round two from the Grand Olympic. Pretty boy Floyd Mayweather, 21 years old, the Olympic champion in the black trunks. Gustavo Cuello from Argentina in the gold trunks. Cuello's been a pro five years, fought four times last year, two and two. He's only fought in South America. Mayweather looking to impress and continue to run his undefeated record up. He's 15 and 0, 13 knockouts. He's 15 and 0, 13 knockouts. His father Floyd Sr. is in his corner. Training him now out of Las Vegas. Training him now out of Las Vegas. The chopping right hand to Coelho. Gustavo Cuello's been very aggressive, trying to work as hard as he can against a taller, more powerful fighter, obviously. Floyd Mayweather of unlimited potential, according to most experts who have watched him fight. Brilliant amateur career. Golden Gloves champion three times. Golden Gloves champion in 93, 94, 96. Still working the left. Cleo's busy as he can be as the ref breaks him up in the center of the ring. We're in Los Angeles, round two. Mayweather and Cleo. Coming down on a minute in round two. If Cuello comes inside, he's going to pay. He tried to get busy there, but he has to respect the power and the jab of Mayweather. Mayweather has shown some chopping lefts and rights down onto the head of Cuello. Now they're exchanging. A very quick flicking jab from Mayweather. It looks dangerous. Thirty seconds to go in round two. Thirty seconds to go in round two. And they're tied up in the center of the ring. And they're tied up in the center of the ring. The heads almost came together, but luckily no. The heads almost came together, but luckily no. Coming up on the end of round two. Here's the replay as Mayweather working Quayle, who's just ducking and defending at that point in the corner of Gustavo Quayle, getting instructions from his trainer Hugo Hernandez. And now we come for round three. Mayweather's going to go from a sprint. Mayweather ready to go to work, flicking the jab. Young man from a tremendous boxing family, has all the skills. He showed it through the amateur ranks, through the Olympic ranks. And this is his 16th professional fight. Coelho trying to get into a little bit of a brawl, perhaps. Not very effective, but at least he's flinging the right hand. Mayweather remaining calm, still stalking. He knows he has the reach and the power and that jab. Coelho now sprinting toward Mayweather. Coelho now sprinting toward Mayweather. The left misses twice. Coelho continues to press as, as much as he can. Mayweather has the right ready to throw it. Take the shot. 
Mayweather continues to look for an opening. Very much in control of himself. Now he presses the action a little bit. Cuello puts his hands to his side briefly and thinks the better of it. 121 left, round three. In this super featherweight bout, Floyd Mayweather in the black, Gustavo Cuello in the gold trunks. Cuello fighting out of Argentina, Mayweather out of Las Vegas. Mayweather showing a little frustration, wanting to get inside. Stalking and stalking, picking his target. There's a right lead. There's a right lead. But the Argentinian has been game so far. Not backing off one bit. Mayweather into a bit of a crouch. There's this exchange. Both the fighters picked off the punches, but look at Quayle throw. Mayweather is ready to counter. The crowd loving it, but not much damage either way. Less than 20 seconds left, round three. Mayweather landing the jab. Quayle felt that one. As you can see his eyes. There's an up. Oh. An uppercut on the break as Coelho goes down. The referee was looking right at Mayweather as they went to the break. And you have to remember to defend yourself at all times. The ref went to the break and Mayweather threw an uppercut. Coelho is protesting. There they are. His head is down before the referee gets in on the break. No. Ref issuing a warning to Mayweather's corner. Very awkward situation. The ref hadn't quite stepped in yet, and Quayle's head was down, and he got popped. There's the end of round two. Very bizarre situation. There's the uppercut on the break from the last round. I believe the referee did take a point away, what they're saying, ringside, a point away from Mayweather in that exchange, but it was very, very odd timing because the ref had not quite stepped in into the clinch or whatever was going on. Quayle's head was about one foot off the ground, but nonetheless, we have continued the action around four as Quayle's a little bit heated up this time. Now, Mayweather having some fun, sticking his chin out. Quayle wants to go, he wants to go too. Floyd's shown an effective jab, which continues to do damage. If he keeps this up, whatever happened in the last round may be a moot point because Mayweather's trying to work harder and Quayle brings the action and he just brings it right back. Now comes the tongue. There's that odd clinching situation, and the ref's going to back him off once again. You got to give it to the Argentinian. He has not backed down one bit against superior power and speed. 130 left, round four. As Coelho's hands come down, he continues to work hard. Mayweather still flicking the left jab inside. There's another one glancing to the right eye of Cuello. Almost connected with a big uppercut, but just missed off the tip of Cuello's nose. A little slapping left to the side of the head of Cuello. Cuello throwing big bombs left and right. Coelho's very active, but not very effective. Slide uppercut, left hand. Now the right hand snuck in from Mayweather. Coelho shaking his head a little bit. He did get hurt. He went uppercut in the last round. 30 seconds left in round four. Pretty good combination from Coelho there. Mayweather 
pretty much having his way though. Under 20 seconds left, round four. Mayweather dancing. Cuello trying to attack, missing wildly. Coming toward the end of round four at the Grand Olympic Auditorium in Los Angeles, Mayweather in control. Here we go, round five from Los Angeles. Here we go, round five from Los Angeles. Floyd Mayweather Jr., the Olympic champion from Atlanta in 1996, taking on Gustavo Cuello of Argentina. The Argentinian has pressed the action as much as possible. Mayweather hasn't quite figured him out yet, like right there. Once again, the Argentinian coming inside. Mayweather should make him pay at one point. Ready to load up. You can see it in his eyes. He knew the right hand was coming. There it is again. He's going to come again with it. He wants to throw the right. The referee talking to Mayweather about keeping the blows up. Flicking the jab once again, Mayweather. Now warning to Coelho for hitting behind the head and clutching. Mayweather continuing trying to work, but now he's going to stand still and work behind the jab. Hard to stand still against the Argentinian who continues to press. Big overhand right from Mayweather. Not much damage, made a lot of noise as the gloves came together. Less than a minute left in round five. Left gets in once again on the button, a little flicking left jab. Floyd Mayweather Jr. trying to enhance his reputation in his very young professional career. Looking down the road, already watching films of Hanaro Hernandez, hoping a fight for him, and here we go on the ropes. Mayweather getting busy. Chopping right. There's a combination to the head of Coelho who continues to back and then come in like a charging mini bull. And that's the end of the round. Here we go, round six. Floyd Mayweather Jr., Gustavo Cuello in the gold trunks. Mayweather in the black trunks. They meet once again in the center of the ring, and Cuello's been very busy in this fight. He's outsized, outmanned, out quick, but he is very game and up to the task. It's hard for him to get inside, which he's trying to do. Chasing behind his jab with his head down as Mayweather continues to flick that left and then back off. He's still looking, you can see, to load up with the right. Coelho's just kind of running at him. No punches really effective there, kind of a charge. Gets the crowd excited, but it's not a lot to do with boxing. There's a right straight overhand that Mayweather's been trying to, you can see he's ready with it, trying to load it in, but Quayle's shown good movement. Quayle's shown good movement. 
There's a right hand that stung him. He felt that. Now he's backing away. Mayweather knows it. Good, solid right hand. He's got him against the ropes. Let's see what he does. Young pro in his sixth round of his 16th fight. Less than 130 left. Coming in on 120 in round six. Mayweather starting to feel it. Hands down by his side now. Cuello throwing, but not hitting anything but air. Cuello moves well, but just doesn't throw that well. You have to think at some point Mayweather's going to make him pay when he steps inside. But he's learning. He's a young pro. There's a right hand lead once again. He's looking to tag him once again. Another jab. Another jab. Less than 30 seconds left. Round six. Quayle slapping punches to the side of Mayweather's arms as he sort of backs him into the ropes. Slapping glances, not effective. Some combinations now. That one hurt. That one hurt. Mayweather's got him in trouble as the round winding down. Mayweather looking to close out. Didn't have enough time. Now he's feeling it. Here's a look at the replay, the right hand from Floyd Mayweather. Quayle caught a lot of elbow right in his face. Here's the right hand once again. Combination at the end of the round was tremendous. Here we go, round seven from Los Angeles. Floyd Mayweather Jr. in the black trunks. Gustavo Quayle from Argentina. His 28th professional fight. He's been a pro five years. He'll be 27 years old next month. Of course, Mayweather very young, 21 years old. Bob Arum expecting big things out of this young fighter. Mayweather is already pointing toward a future WBC super featherweight fight against Hanaro Hernandez, a local hero here in Los Angeles. Hernandez is ringside tonight commentating on this fight. Mayweather, I understand, has already been looking at film of Hernandez, but he's got to get past Coelho so far. He's, he's dominated the fight. Coelho, though, has been very game. Good movement. But at the end of round six, Mayweather had him in trouble. And he could be starting to tire. He's not throwing. He's moving. Mayweather just looking for a spot. Mayweather strutted back to his corner at the end of round six. And now look at him using that right hand, kind of circling it. He was dipping his shoulders and dancing back to his corner at the end of round six was Mayweather. Quayle trying to come up with something, but hitting a lot of air. Less than 130 left, round seven. Mayweather's gone to the right, pounding away with the right. Now, Mayweather peering in, looking for a spot to come with the combination of Quayle. Gamely bullying his way around the ring. The matter of survival now for Gustavo Quayle. Right hand, right eye swelling for Coelho just a bit as that left jab has found its mark numerous times throughout the first six plus rounds. Behind the jab once again, 30 seconds left, round seven. Coelho continues to press. There's a right hand. When will Mayweather land the big one? That's what people are wondering as Coelho continues to try to press the action to run him around the ring. Here he comes. Bit of a track meet at this point.
Mayweather too quick. There's another jab. Closing in, end of round seven. They're getting rid of the chair. <laughs> Mopping up the corner for Cuello in round eight. The Argentinian coming out to face Floyd Mayweather here in Los Angeles at the storied hall of the Grand Olympic Auditorium. Mayweather did a little dance back to his corner after round seven, knowing that he has this fight well in command, but can he show us anything else? Wales shown us that he's able to move and avoid punches quite a bit, but not effective with any kind of attack. Very early in Mayweather's professional career, just the 16th fight. Won the gold medal in 1996 in Atlanta. Up on his toes is Mayweather, dancing a bit in front of the ropes. He's not likely to get hit. He knows it. And there he is in the corner getting tied up a little bit. Cuello's very game, trying to throw something. And the ref's going to step in. He's having an altercation with the referees having a problem with the corner of Cuello and his trainer, I believe that's Hugo Hernandez. The ref wants Mayweather to cool it for a second while they straighten this problem out. And here we go. Words exchanged between Cuello's corner and the ref don't exactly know what it was all about but it was getting underneath the referee's skin. <laughs> Never seen that before. Look at Coelho charging. Like a man possessed and he's gonna pay for it with a quick right to the face. Coelho is just gonna really try to press as hard as he can and Mayweather sticking his chin out saying, okay, bring it on. Very awkward style for Mayweather to try to compete against with Quayles charging and running at him, but he's handled it pretty well. It's hard to sit in and box classically with a, a man who's uh, charging at you. Quayle's still throwing punches, missing by about a foot. Fifteen seconds left, round eight. Very bizarre round when the ref had words with Cuello's corner. That's the end, round eight. Here we go, round nine from the Grand Olympic in Los Angeles. Maybe not. Here we go, round nine from the Grand Olympic in Los Angeles, California. Floyd Mayweather Jr. has had a bit of a struggle with Gustavo Cuello from the standpoint he hasn't been able to put together any real effective combinations against the Argentinian who has been on his toes all night, lunging and running. It's, it's a learning experience for the young Mayweather. Very much a learning experience. He's very confident. He's danced toward his corner at the end of each round. He has won every round in most people's cards. But uh, Cuello has been doing, there you go, another lunge from Cuello. He's very awkward style, likes to run. Very difficult for a classic boxer to defend against that type of rush. Mayweather had a brilliant amateur career, 
Topped off by a gold medal in the Olympics in Atlanta in 96. And now he's into the ninth round of this fight. The 16th professional fight. He's been able to bounce the right hand in there and get up on his toes. Coelho's not able to throw much. He just kind of moves and gives Mayweather a moving target. Good experience for Mayweather fighting this type of awkward fighter. Been flicking the jab, coming back with the right. Mayweather knows he's in control. Don't do anything dumb. Up on his toes, a la Ali. Dancing in the ring, a lot of dancing. Coelho hasn't thrown anything since yesterday, I don't believe. Mayweather continuing to try to slap a left-handed hook in there. Crowd wanting a little more out of this fight. But how are you going to get it? Thirty seconds left, round nine. We're going to go ten. That's Quayle trying to throw some kind of combination, but you see Mayweather's well in charge of that. Very ineffective combinations. Mayweather just standing there looking at him. Here we go, round 10. Floyd Mayweather looking to close this out and get the decision over Gustavo Coelho from Argentina. Coelho's only fought in South America. He has been a game fighter. He doesn't have a lot of ability to counter Mayweather, but he has kept charging. Obviously in very good shape coming into this fight. We'll see if Quayle can mount some kind of an attack here in the 10th round at the Grand Olympic. And you can bet Mayweather would have liked to have gotten a knockout in this fight. As he has 13 in his first 15, but it's been difficult for him to Exactly figure out what to do with Quayle. Quayle keeps charging. Mayweather keeps countering. And Quayle doesn't throw a lot unless he's inside up against the ropes, and then it's mostly up against the arms of Mayweather. Good experience for the young Mayweather inside a minute and a half, round 10. Floyd Sr. has been working the corner of his son tonight. He's been very pleased with what he's seen. There's a good tagging on the inside, left and right. Quayle tries to throw, then steps back and pays the price. Mayweather's shown good poise tonight, not allowed himself to get in any kind of trouble. You can see there he has the quickness. Now he's dancing, shaking his shoulders. Quayle has not been willing to come in and go toe to toe and pay the price, and that's why he's not gonna win this fight, but Mayweather has done the right thing and not gotten himself in any kind of stupid mistakes, which often happens with young fighters when they turn pro. Coming toward the end of this fight, Floyd Mayweather Jr. Gustavo Cuello from Argentina. Mayweather a little frustrated, you can see, and that's that.
We're awaiting the judge's decision. It went the distance. The crowd was not happy with what they saw, but it uh, looks like the Mayweather family's quite happy. It was a difficult fight for the young Mayweather. Taking on the Argentinian who went the distance and Coelho getting a little cheer from the crowd. You see the card, Mayweather dominating, only losing one round. 99-91 is how we have it scored. And here's the announcement. Referee John Shirley le rebajó un punto a Floyd Mayweather por pegando después que lo separó en el tercer asalto. Ladies and gentlemen, the scoring reflects a one-point deduction from Floyd Mayweather for hitting after the break in the third round. I will read the scorecards. Revisando la puntación de los jueces. Todos los jueces vieron la pelea 99 a 90. All three judges scored about 99-90. El vencedor por decisión unánime, the winner by unanimous decision, still undefeated, pretty boy, Floyd Mayweather. Floyd Mayweather had a huge unanimous decision, all three judges scoring it exactly the same as I had it, 99-91. Mayweather obviously not a crowd favorite here in Los Angeles. He's from Grand Rapids, Michigan, fights out of Las Vegas. But a convincing victory in the eyes of the judges and most people ringside tonight. Floyd Mayweather, pretty boy Floyd, goes to 16-0 in his professional career. There you see some of the action. Floyd Mayweather, an up-and-comer in the world of boxing.